What's up everyone and welcome to a new video today. In today's video, I'm breaking down for you exactly how you can build a business on Amazon and sell it for seven figures, one million pounds or more, and I'm doing it right now. Hey, if this is your first time here on the channel and you are interested in building a business that's gonna free you up from the grip that money so easily places over time, then make sure you hit that subscribe button with notifications on and you'll be on your way. So here's the thing, right? I'm a, I'm a pretty goal-oriented person. I don't know about you, but for me, goals really do help uh, motivate me. I believe in the power of having a vision, something set before you that you're working towards. It's a motivator, it gives you energy, it gives you clarity, it gives you focus, it gives you so many things. I believe in having a clear why established when you start something. And you know, so in that vein, uh, for some time now, I've had a goal to build my business that's selling products on Amazon to the point where I one day sell it. Uh, for a while I was thinking that might be sooner than I now think it is because uh, in the last six to 12 months I've just become really optimistic about the future of Amazon like I'm all in on this Amazon journey doubling down in so many ways and uh, you know at, at times I thought maybe I would by now have wanted to sell my business get out and invest it in something that's maybe more passive but I honestly believe that the only way is up with Amazon that the growth that we have seen in recent times in the UK is a, a, an example example that the UK and Europe are, are going to be following in the footsteps of Amazon in the US and uh, where Amazon US is now I really believe that the UK and Europe can be and will be in the next five years time so I want to get my brands established on Amazon in the UK now uh, for an even bigger payday in the future so I'm not in any great rush to exit right now with my Amazon businesses however the mentality of working towards an exit is something I believe that can really help you with this business. Having this mentality of an exit can really help you focus on the right things. Instead of just focusing on selling products on Amazon alone, it really causes you to consider building a brand. It causes you to consider expanding out your sales channels, uh, warming an audience, creating a great set of products, ensuring that everything you're doing is on brand. There's so many things that it causes you to think about that actually are so much better for the future of your business. Because ultimately, having this mentality with your business is going to help you to create a business that's going to be a lot more saleable in the future. It's going to be a lot more of an attractive asset. When people come to buy your business one day, if all it is is selling random products, unrelated products with no cohesive brand and no audience, uh, Amazon owns everything really, then, uh, then it's going to be worth a lot less than a brand that you utilize the power of Amazon to launch and get momentum and never move away from but add to. You add building blocks to the side of it, like branding, like building a customer audience, uh, like building your sales channels off Amazon. When you round all of that out and even launching into multiple marketplaces around the world with Amazon, when you build out that structure of the business, it's going to make your business a whole lot more of a saleable asset and much more likely to reach this target figure or more. So what I thought might be helpful for you today might be inspiring, motivating, and help you, help you to put in place an action plan for you and your business and some targets of where you need to get to this year, where you need to get to in the next three years, five years, and so on, and uh, and break that down exactly for you so you can put that into place, uh, and how you can build a business that you can sell one day for seven figures. Because actually, when you break it down, it's so much easier and more straightforward than you might imagine. And now, before I dive into it, people might be asking, well, why a million pounds? Why that figure, Ben? Why have you chosen that figure? The short truth really is that this million pounds really is a bit of an arbitrary figure. It's something to shoot for, but uh, I chose a million pounds because uh, a, I believe it's achievable to every person starting a business or selling on Amazon. Uh, B, I think there's just a certain, you know, je ne sais quoi about being, uh, you know, talking about selling a business for one million pounds. Just that idea of a million pounds feels like a lot. Um, you know, it's not an amazing, incredible amount of money, right? A million pounds is 
is a, is a good amount of money, but due to inflation and where the world's going, if you sell a business for a million pound, it's not gonna mean that you don't have to work another day in your life. However, if you do use it right, and you have some wisdom in terms of investing it and utilizing a million pound payout if you were to sell your business for that amount, it really could change your life forever. A million pound invested at a 10% return across a variety of different investments gives you 100,000 pounds income per year. Now, of course, there's taxes and you're gonna to wanna to reinvest it to keep building that because of inflation and yada, yada, yada. There's a lot more maths to it, but it gives you an idea that if you were able to build a business to sell for a million pounds and then invest that, it could really change your life for the rest of your life. And so uh, for me, that's what this whole channel is all about. That's what building business is about. It's not about these figures. It's not about monetary values. It's not about the things we can buy with that. It's actually about the freedom that that money permits us. That actually uh, selling a business for a million pounds and you investing that money can free you up to go on holiday with your kids. It can free you up to give time to charity. It can free you up to actually give finance to things that are going to make a difference in this world and so on and so forth. So that's kind of a bit about why that figure, but you know, you put any figure here, you can put 10 million, you can put 500,000, you can put whatever figure you want. And once I've shown you the maths of how to work it out, you can extrapolate those figures out into whatever number you want this to be. Um, but let's talk and break down exactly how we're going to do that. We're going to jump into the computer onto a slideshow and I'm going to talk you through it. All right, okay guys, so on this journey to seven figures, journey to being able to sell a company that we've built utilizing Amazon for seven figures, I'm gonna make a few assumptions just to help me really lay out these maths for you, right? Number one, first assumption is you're gonna be selling products for 20 pounds, sale price of 20 pounds. Now that is obviously, it could be more, it could be less, you're gonna have a range of different prices of products once you build the company, um, but just as an average uh, you know, price to really help me really do the maths is a good median to be looking at. Um, it's a product price that I would recommend because it's, uh, you know, it gives you a bit of leeway to work with PPC, etc. cetera, um, but you, know, you can always source cheaper or more expensive products, but let's use this as an average for the maths. Second assumption I'm gonna make is that you're gonna be working on around 25% net margins that's net that's after all expenses right and so uh, some people might say that's not enough it should be more and to those people I would commend them and say well done for finding products with more of a margin but in my experience having launched uh, many many different products and running this business on uh, for a, a period of time now 25% net margins is a good healthy place to aim for I'd love it to be higher uh, but uh, but this that's just a realistic expectation after all expenses you know and that is your advertising and marketing and PPC that is your accounting expenses that is all your software subscriptions not just your product profit but your company profit 25% net margin is a reasonable place reasonable expectation third assumption I'm going to make is that you're going to sell your company for a four times multiple of your profit. Now with businesses that predominantly sell on Amazon, this multiple can vary somewhat. It can be from as little as two, uh, 2.5 times multiple all the way up to six and seven times multiple of your profit depending on a number of factors. The factors are mainly this, the smaller your company in terms of revenue and profit, the lower the multiple will be. Once you get into sort of seven figure region, that multiple is going to grow somewhat once you get into eight figure uh, territory 10 million and more so i'm told i've not obviously not sold a company for that much yet but from my research and from people i network with once you get into that region that is when your multiple can jump into more like the five or six times profit multiple because it is obviously a much more attractive proposition for private equity firms and so on and so forth so I've put the uh, assumption at a four times multiple because uh, through the, the different tactics that I teach in terms of branding and building uh, you know, a customer list and building, you know, building an audience and building great products um, you know, and building across multiple marketplaces, that's gonna help you increase the value of your company as well as when you hit these kind of revenue numbers that we're talking about for this target figure of a million pound sale, then your multiple is more than likely uh, should be up to and around this four times point. All right, so those are the assumptions that we're going to make in order to be able to do the maths. And let's dive right in. I've got the iPad here, got the little pen. We're going to uh, draw some stuff out, hopefully, to try and help um, you and me sort of talk through these maths as we go. So let's get into it. 
Okay, so we want to go for this one million pound figure. That's our aim figure for when we're selling the company. Uh, so what we need to look at, obviously, we know the assumption is a four times multiple. So we need to divide that by four. And what we then uh, need to be looking for is two hundred and fifty thousand pounds over a twelve month period. In and that is profit, not revenue, but that is profit. Four times your profit is what we're looking for. So two hundred and fifty thousand. Pounds, and then when we know that our net margins, our aim is for that to be at 25%, we know uh, in order to be able to generate this kind of profit, then we're going to need to be able to generate revenue of four times this amount because of this net margin figure here. And so, what that means for the quick among you, you will realize that actually this figure. Um, that we're looking for, uh, this £250,000 profit uh, times by four has already been divided by four. So actually, what we know is nice, uh, good maths to work with is, is that really what we want to sell our company for is the revenue we need to generate, right? If we want to sell for a million, we need to be generating a million pounds in revenue over 12 months. If you want to sell for uh, 500,000, 500,000, etc. Obviously, that changes when the multiples change, which change when the amount of revenue and profit change. So it is only a little bit of a guide, but for our numbers here, that is a good sort of figure to be working with. So we're looking at this here, <coughs> excuse me, of a million pounds in revenue every year. So that's what we know we need to achieve. We need to achieve one million pounds in revenue over 12 months in order to be able to sell the company for a million pounds. So let's break this down, right? Um, we're making the assumption that we're selling products for 20 pounds. So a million pounds, if we want to make this in a year, we need to sell 50,000 of these products. A million divided by 20 is 50,000. So we need to sell 50,000 units within one year of our product. And if we were to take 50,000 and divide that by 12, we're looking at just shy, I think, of 4,200 units per month. 4,200 units per month. Uh, and if we were looking at units that if we were looking at products that another assumption would be that they would maybe sell around 10 per day then actually what we're looking at here is a number of 14 products 14 products is uh you know the the magic figure i don't want to you know sort of say the, the magic numbers or anything like that because obviously there's so many variables in this that could change um that there's no sort of set in stone but this is a guide for how you can work this out based on your numbers right so 14 uh, products is the in this scenario is the magic figure that if they're selling on average uh, some will sell more some will sell less but on average 10 a day <coughs> is going to give us this 4,200 units a month which gives us 50,000 units uh, over the year which times by 20 is going to give us the million pound revenue right and so for people just starting out that can seem a bit crazy and like 14 products that's a long way away we'll get to that in a moment stick around you know to the end and i'll show you the timeline of how this might be able to work but for another example let's work maybe reverse engineer this a little bit and let's work our way up because when you're doing product research it can feel sometimes a little bit underwhelming when you are there's so much content in the amazon space right that says uh, you know find a product that's got high demand and low competition super high demand you know doing tens of thousands of pounds a month and like man Amazon can change your life and and we forget to realize that actually you know we can build real long uh, you know real businesses that have longevity on Amazon when we don't just always go for the crazy high demand products realizing that there's going to be you know issues that may come with that and actually we can float in and find some products that uh, you know whilst they might not seem super attractive to some people that actually to us they're the foundations of a, uh, a great business that's going to last into the long haul right so, so let's take for instance again this one million pound figure and uh, let's turn that into more of a monetary value in terms of rather than how many units to be sold if we want to sell a million pounds in a year uh, that's going to work out at just over 80k a month right that's the revenue figure per month over a 30 day rolling period that you need to be shooting for and so if we're looking for that 80k a month maybe you're looking for products that aren't quite as high demand you know uh, maybe 14 products that we talked about before might not quite cut it maybe uh, for instance we could break that down and say actually what if i was had an aim of uh, launching or selling over a long haul 20 different products that each made four thousand pounds 
per month, which is more than doable. £4,000 a month revenue on Amazon is nothing crazy. It's not to be laughed at, like it's, it's a good amount, right? But it's, uh, but it's not something that's gonna get all of the hordes of people that are doing product research super, super excited, right? It's a, it's a great sort of figure that you can aim at just to fly in under the radar and launch a whole bunch of these products here. But you get 20 of them going, this is gonna hit your revenue target, and you, over a, you know, a period of time, can actually build a business that you can sell for seven figures, right? This is the, the breakdown of it, how achievable this is. I'm not saying it's easy, right? It's not easy, but it's achievable. So much more achievable than we ever could have realized uh, many years ago, where actually we could sit on our sofa with our laptop and actually uh, you know, launch these products and build towards this kind of revenue. I think it's just an absolutely insane opportunity. But like I said before, let me just talk you through maybe some of the timelines of how this might work. Uh, if you're just starting out right now, um, what sort of timeline can I expect? If I've got an initial investment amount of money that I'm going to put into this product, what could I expect? Again, there will be a lot of variables with this that may change this based on how well a product goes, um, how well you manage your finances, how long you're able to roll that money back in. But for this example, I'm going to talk as if that you are uh, as if you are going to just reinvest the money that you make with your businesses. What I try to do, I try to take minimal amount of money out of my company because I am building it to um, towards that opportunity to sell it one day. So I'm going to assume you're doing the same and, uh, and let's talk through that, right? So your first product uh, from when you find that product to when you launch it and you are, you know, cash flow positive, um, you know, it's going to probably take you six months, right? Realistic expectation <coughs> to source that product, to go and find it, to go and ship it to Amazon, to start selling it and to, to keep going. That's probably going to take you six months. And then over that next six month period, that's when you're probably going to uh, maybe launch one more product. So it's going to be plus one. So you're going to have two products total. So in your first year, if you can have two active products selling on Amazon, doing well, you're in a great spot. I mean, if you can do it quicker, course that's great but just to give you a realistic expectation all right so probably then once you've launched one product uh, over that six month period you're going to have the the cash flow you're going to be generating that revenue maybe to speed it up a little bit so the next product launch might only take you three months right so uh, in three months then you're going to do another plus one so you're going to have three uh, and then again you're going to do another three months plus one and then you're going to have four another this is year two remember another plus one you're going to have five another three months another plus one and you're going to have six products total after a two year period right so this is your second year here this is your second year, this is your first year. And so after two years, you're gonna be in a spot where you have six products. And now you might think that's a lot, you might think that's not enough, like you want it to happen quicker. Again, so many variables with this. If you've got a ton of capital to invest in this, you can do this much quicker if you learn, if you you know understand the principles of this business well. Um, but this is a realistic expectation of what you can do if you reinvest money and choose your products well. So that's year two, and we're looking then at six products. And then maybe what you might be able to do is speed up, and you might be able to launch a product every two months. So in year three, we're looking at launching a product after two months. Um, so plus one, and then you've got a total of seven products, and then another two months, another two months, and there's uh, six of these in the year, obviously. So then we're looking at one, two, three, four, four six, and so that's going to leave you with 12 products by the end of year three. Year three, you're looking at 12 different products, all doing around about £4,000 per month. This is assuming that Amazon don't grow. This is assuming that you only list it on one marketplace. This is assuming that you don't expand marketplaces with these products, right? There's so much more you can do to build your revenue other than just launching products, but again, just giving you an idea. So if you're launching six products in total in year three, um, it's feasible to think that you could launch another eight products in year four, eight products year Year four, get, uh, year four, get those eight more products established, giving you a total of 20 products, which means that in year five, 
year five, uh, you should be well within your uh, reach of hitting a revenue target of one million pounds. Again, that is assuming you haven't expanded to European marketplaces, you haven't expanded to USA, you haven't expanded to Japan, Australia, Israel, Turkey, all of the, um, you know, goodness knows where Amazon will be in five years time. So this is, this is, for me is a, a realistic goal to aim towards. It's not going to be easy. I'm not promising you this will happen. I'm not saying that this is just going to take, uh, you know, just uh, pick a few products and watch as those numbers skyrocket. This will take you work. This will take you investment. But if you give yourself to this for these five years, maybe shorter, maybe longer, dependent on the variables, but if you give yourself to it, if you apply the principles, if you reinvest, the opportunity is there to be able to sell a company that you've built utilizing Amazon for one million pounds. Now, I don't say it lightly. I don't say it just to uh, get views or get clicks or clickbait, whatever. You might think so, but I honestly genuinely believe, based on what I've laid out in this video, that this is more than achievable. And, uh, and listen, if you want my help to be able to uh, action this and be able to put the steps in place to help you do this, this is what I'm working towards and I would love to you know, help you along the journey and uh, you know, really coach you along the way. So listen, if that is you and you would like to build a business that you could one day sell for a figure like this, then make sure you do get in touch. Firstly, make sure you like this video so a whole bunch of other people can see it and be inspired. Um, but also make sure you get in touch. I've got a, a free ebook that will help you get started in the link in the uh, the link is in the description below you can pick that up you can learn all about this amazon business model there's also a link in there about how to get some coaching from me how to get one-on-one -on -one time with me and you can find all that information below please don't sit on the sidelines whilst this opportunity remains to be so so good the uk and europe i honestly believe are going to be like the us is now in five years time and so uh, we have this great, great opportunity before us right now. Let me show you what I'm doing in order to build this business successfully and help you along the way. All right, guys, that is it for today. Um, if you've liked the video, make sure you do like. And uh, if you want more of this kind of content, make sure you do hit my face below. Hit that uh, subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so that you can be notified of when I'm releasing more videos like this. I've got more coming up for you soon. Can't wait to share with you the next video out. I'll see you in the next one real soon.